Okay, I am going to show you how to use Affinity in Windows, that's Affinity Designer, with the Epson 8500 or 8550. I have both, but I'm using the um, smaller printer because I have the Cyclone ink in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and New. And these are your presets. So just for now, I'm going to pick letter. And as you see, eight and a half by 11, 300 DPI, that's very important. And I'm going to pick um, portrait. You can do landscape, and I'm going to do portrait. We're going to do prefer embedded. You want to keep it there. RGB forward slash 8. And here, this color profile is what you need. Now there's a drop down. I have many printers. But you're going to work in this profile. I like a transparent background. If you don't, you can unclick that. But I like transparent to see if there's anything that I'm missing. All right, then you hit create. All right, and here's your board. And now we're going to go to File. I'm going to bring in um, that picture of the Joker. So what you're going to do is go to Place. And it's going to drop down to where my file should be. And here it is. Here's the Joker. So now you're going to get like a stamp. So you're going to press down on your left mouse button. You can make it any size you want within the lines. Uh, you can adjust it as you can see, make it small, that, make it big. If you need to bring in another picture, you can just go to place pick something else just so I can show you and then I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> so we're going to do, let's say, let them eat cake. Let's say I want to put a little picture. So just so you get the idea, you're always going to use file place. You want to get rid of it, highlight it, and hit your delete key. All right, that's just showing you. Or you can do as I do, as I create in silhouette when I want to add text and everything because I'm not proficient in affinity. Then I save it as a ping file at a 300 dpi uh, with a transparent background and then I go and get it with affinity. Okay, important here. You're going to go first to document setup. And as you can see, type is print, letter, now, the letter, this has to match what you picked. So, in other words, if you picked an odd size or a custom size, like 11 by 20, uh, then you're going to have to make sure it matches. And you would hit custom. Right now, we're doing letter. You're going to keep prefer embedded. We're going to go to the dimensions, as you see, 8.5 by 11, 300 dpi. I've got it portrait. Next we're going to go to color. And this is where the color profiles are. So we're going to drop down and look for the 8500. And I'm doing this, we'll see in a minute, as the 8500 series mat. You're going to keep it at convert. Nothing for margins, nothing for bleed. Again, you're in document setup, then you're going to hit OK. Now you're going to go to print. Remember, we were in document setup. Now we're going to go to print. And here is your profile. We have a custom profile. That's your printer, the 8500. Um, but we're going to go now to Properties. This is going to bring you into the Printer Properties. Right now we are in Affinity Properties. So 
So here is going to be the key when it opens. I've been on here too long. Okay, this is your Epson 8500 right here. My paper source, you have your choice. Some people have it on auto. I keep it on cassette too. I don't know why, but again, paper type. Premium Presentation Mat. That's what I'm using. There are other ones, but you want to keep it at Premium Presentation Mat. That's the best one I've got in the color. Your color, you can do black or white. We're going to keep it at color. Now the quality. If you're going to use Premium Presentation Paper Mat, PPPM, stay with standard. Um, if you go to the high, it's going to just be too colorful and the wrong colors. I've learned my lesson on that. Two-sided printing is off. Settings we don't play with. I do a print preview. You don't have to do that. I like to see what's going on because I always mess up and I can always cancel it. Next is more options. And once we get there, you are going to see, again, the letter, same as document size. Here's the difference. Don't go to automatic. Go to custom. You're going to go to advanced. And you're going to go to no color adjustment because you don't want to use the Epson colors. You want to use the ICEC profiles with affinity. And you're going to hit OK. Uh, here's your mirror, your image. You're going to hit OK again. And then here we're at Print. There's your layout. Restoration you don't do. Bleed marks you don't care. Again, color management. Preformed by the app. That's Affinity. This is the printer profile. That's the, these are the profiles for the 8500 and we picked Matt. And this is the only one they have is that one. So that's what we're going to keep. Uh, I keep it at Perceptual. Some people go to Relative color, color Metric and that's for photographs, but I like it right here. Once you hit OK, of course I'm not going to print this again, but as you can see here, see it's filled up. You can keep it on scale or fit to printable all. You keep it on automatic. Once you hit OK, it should go to preview. That's when I see my mistakes or I've got something wrong. And your preview is never going to look like the color, so don't worry about it. And then you hit print. And that's all you do, and it should print out. And that is it. Again, this is for the Epson 8500. I'm using Cyclone inks, a sub paper, because that's all I have. I did order my Epson paper. And this is uh, Affinity Designer for Windows. And I hope this helps.